Well, tonight, hundreds in Gatesville remembering the three construction workers that were killed in the Coriel Memorial Hospital explosion last month. Fox 44's Maribel Santiago was at the vigil this evening with more Maribel. Well, it was an emotional evening. It's between hospital Here's staff, manager, construction Kristen. co-workers, and dozens of strangers showing up, reflecting on the past month, thanking everyone for their support. It, it will forever change and impact our lives. Nurse manager Crystal Cooper was working at Coriel Memorial Hospital when the blast rocked the facility. I was at my desk when um, the explosion happened and it uh, was powerful enough it pushed my chair back from my desk. Tonight she told her story in front of hundreds who came by a candlelight vigil at the Meadows Retirement Home. Cooper's one of many nurses who tried to bring the injured construction workers to safety. I knew I had to help them. Uh, running straight towards burning fire and not even caring because I heard them out there screaming for our help. Cooper standing with her staff, Lockridge priest workers and the community for prayer. To have come so far in such a short amount of time is nothing short of amazing and it's because of the heart of our community and our staff. No matter if you were across the street helping evacuate the uh, meadows or if you were in the actual area where there were the victims, um, everybody was here that day and felt it, and everyone had that same fear that they need to um, find healing. And as the community heals in those prayers, they're thankful they're recovering together. Just continue to pray for the victims and for the healing of all of the staff and the community. Now, since the blast, the hospital is back open as well as the surrounding facilities and construction is still moving along at the Coria Memorial Hospital. And attorneys say a five day investigation will begin at the explosion site tomorrow at 830 in the morning. Live in studio, Maribel Santiago, Fox 44 News.